What's good, BM crew? It's your girl Maya and just Maya because today, y'all, I don't know if I want to look at the camera or myself, but today we are doing a holiday makeup. I got this request a lot, so I'm going to just show y'all what I think I'm going to do on Christmas. I don't know. It's going to be like a little red look. Um, I don't know. We're just going to try it out. So today is Vlogmas Day. I don't know because we done lost track at this point. But hey, you getting content. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I'm just walk y'all through my tutorial of how I do my makeup. Some holiday makeup though. Uh, first I need to pull my hair out of my face cause you don't wanna get your hair messed up. Um, you don't wanna get makeup on it and stuff. So actually I'm gonna lay my edges down. That's what I wanna do. All right. So, gonna lay my edges back before I time down. I'm using a little extra clips to really make sure it's not falling in the way. So, you wanna start with a bare face and get your primer. This is the primer that I use. Um, I got this a while ago, but it works pretty good. It's supposed to be like a mattifying primer. So if you have oily skin, um, this would definitely be good for you. And then I like to do brows first. I use this Brow Boss ColourPop pencil. I use, I think it's dark brown is the color. And I just literally fill them in. This is this part is a lot easier if your eyebrows are freshly waxed or freshly threaded. I get mine threaded, which it is very painful, but <laughs> it's the best results if you ask me. So I'm gonna brush them out first. My eyebrows are kind of in the medium stage. Like, they not fresh, but they not too bad just yet. It won't be as easy for me to get that straight line, but I promise you it's gonna happen. What I do is I, uh, I literally draw the bottom line. What I want to be that fresh straight line, I draw that first, and then I start filling in upward. You want to follow what your brows are already doing. Don't make a whole new arch. Just do what your brows are already doing. Of course, you know, you make your little corrections or whatever, but don't create a whole new eyebrow. <laughs> Okay, so after you fill them in, then you're gonna take some concealer. I use a MAC concealer. This is NC30. <clears throat> However, I will say, I don't know that I'm too fond of this color for me, but I've just been using it, so. But you just, the same line that you drew, now you're gonna clean it up and make it like super straight.
So like once you draw that straight line, then you're just gonna like blend it down. So I draw the line first and then I start blending downward. So after we do that, then we are gonna go in with our foundation and concealer. And what I wanna do is I'm taking the concealer to hit any dark spots that you may have. So get some extra coverage on those areas. A little cleanup. I get under my eyes. And I'm gonna get the foundation. I just put one pump on my hands and then I like to wet my brush and then dab on your face. So next is the eyeshadow. I'm gonna pull out my different brushes that I need. It's really not any specific science to it. I just kind of use what's easier and best for me. It, it, it took a lot of trial and error, honestly. So I don't know the exact science behind picking certain brushes to do certain eyes, but <laughs> just I can show you what I use and you can try to find a brush similar to it. So I'm gonna take something like this. I'm gonna use edge. This color right here, or edges, it's not called edge, it's called edges. And I'm gonna put this in my crease. I always blow it cause like I don't want too much on the brush, but I'm gonna literally put it right in my crease. And it, it may look a little crazy at first, but you're gonna blend it out. So don't worry about blending just yet. Just get the color on it, on your eye. And I, I do both eyes as I go. I don't do one eye and then do the other. Cause honestly, it makes it harder to match when you just finish one eye and then try to do the other one. It makes it harder to match it. So I'm gonna use Ginger. And this is like a wider, fluffier brush. And I'm gonna like blend out this top part. So. Ginger is more like a very neutral tone, a brown. So if you don't have this exact palette, just try to find similar colors on your whatever your palette may be. I'm literally just blending that harsh line that was there so it can blend into my brow, the concealer under my brow. And I'm probably gonna go back in with edges to make sure that the color still pops out and stands out. The key to everything makeup is just blend. Like, I promise I'm not a professional at all, by far, but I got this far just by, just keep blending. Even when you think it's enough, just blend it. You don't want any harsh lines. Like, just keep blending it. Keep using the brush. It's gonna eventually blend out. So now I'm gonna get a darker color for the corner of my eyes. And this one is called Credit. I'm literally putting it in a corner and then I'm kind of moving upward right in the crease, right inside of the crease. Put it a little bit on my eyelid, like almost right at half, but don't quite go to half. I want it just in the corner and obviously just blend it out. It's gonna be harsh for a second, but just blend it. Just keep blending. until you like the desired blend that you see. Like, I think that's pretty cool. You know, the hard part is matching it on the other eye. Start right there in the corner and then just work your way up. And then to spruce it up a bit, we're gonna take like a flat head brush and I'm gonna use wig, wiggly. I think that's the name of it, but it's it's like a red sparkly color. And I'm gonna put it right on my lid. Right, literally right on my lid. I'm gonna put it a little over the area that I've already put the dark color on and just blending it through. You are amazing. Right. 
So now I'm gonna kinda go back. I'm not gonna put any extra color, uh, shadow on the brushes, but I'm just going back in those areas to like blend everything out. Next, I'm gonna do the um, under eye concealer. So I like to use two different colors. One is like a really brown and the other one is really light. I do this because I didn't find the perfect color that I like to highlight with, so I end up just mixing my own together. So this one, as you can see, is like, it's a little bit darker than my skin color. And I just put this first in all the areas that I wanna highlight. And then I go back with the lighter color. Then you take your brush or beauty blender, whatever you prefer, and you just blend away. Like I said, blend is your number one thing. Get rid of all the lines. You don't want any lines. You don't want to see literally a triangle of your highlight. Blend it in as much as you can. So now we're gonna blend our setting powder. I use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Um, feel free to use whatever you use, but you just blend it, or not necessarily blend it just yet, but you just wanna get the setting powder on the areas that you put the highlight on. So I put it in my T-zone, under my eye, and my chin. Literally beat it into your face. <laughs> you don't have to worry about blending it, really. I'm gonna move on to the eyeliner now. So I, I'm gonna do this under one first. This is literally just a regular pencil. And just draw it the bottom of your lash. I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue on my lashes and let it semi-dry while I'm putting on my liquid liner. Just get you some good lash glue. I don't like to use hair glue. I know it's very popular for people to use hair glue, but that pulls my lashes out. So it's not really good to use that. I just use lash glue. I'm gonna let it sit and dry for a second because you can't put it on just super wet anyway. I'm just following my lash line. And as I get mid towards my eye, that's when I raise it up just a little bit because this is directly on my eyelash line. But now I'm gonna go a little bit above it so that I can start the wing. The way I do my wing is you wanna follow the bottom line upward. So I'm just gonna create that bottom line first. If your bottom lashes, your bottom line was to extend, that's the line you're drawing. Once you do that, then you draw a line connecting the point the end point to where you finished off the rest of the eyeliner. It's not done drying, so I'm gonna help it dry faster. You don't want it to be completely dry, but it can't be super wet either. I put the center on first, directly on my lash line, the center, and then I push down the end. It's like connecting the dots to your lash line. And don't worry if you have a glue like mine, that white is gonna, it's gonna dry clear. We almost done after you get the lashes on. Then we gonna contour. You gonna get the darker shades and put it like a three on your face. So I'm just, I always mix it on my hands first. I put a lighter shade and then a darker shade. And then actually, we have to blend out this setting powder. So just take a random brush and blend out the setting powder. Take the contour brush and follow your jawline. Blush and highlighter. 
I blend all these three colors together, <laughs> make my own blush color. I do a lot of that, making my own colors. And then the highlighter. And now, because it's the holidays, it's probably right to have a red lip. So just get you a nice red lip. This is literally like fire engine red. It's from Sephora, Sephora 01. And it's mattified, so if you get this, know that it's gonna stay on your lips all day. Isn't that a holiday look? <laughs> oh my god. So just take it down. If you follow along, you have a holiday look. So thank y'all for watching. Um, Stay tuned for tomorrow. We're gonna have some more Vlogmas for you guys. I hope y'all like this video. Give it a thumbs up, like it, and I love you guys. Peace.